day and welcome to this workshop and in this workshop we're going to be looking at creating buttons in ActionScript 3. Just simple buttons that can go from frames uh, to frames or just create you know little functions for them. The issue with ActionScript 3 and ActionScript 2 is that ActionScript 2 was a lot more forgiving in the way you created buttons. In ActionScript 3 you have to create listeners that listen out for the um, certain interactions that you're going to be using. So for instance with a button we're going to be using mouse interaction so when we click it's going to be looking, that object will be looking out for a mouse click. Um, in ActionScript 2 you could get away with it by writing the code directly on the button, in ActionScript 3 that's not an option anymore and in ActionScript 2 you could also write functions for buttons actually in the code so you wouldn't write any code on the button itself and for people who have done that, if you're listening and you've done that before this is going to be somewhat similar so we're looking out for listeners and we're going to then create a function for it and it's that, that sort of principle is the same but once you've got this down you'll be able to start using ActionScript 3 a lot easier and creating basic websites with it so we're going to go ahead and create our first button and for that I'm going to get an oval and this isn't going to look pretty but it's going to work so that's what's important I'm going to create an oval I'm going to highlight it right click on it and convert to symbol and from here from the type of symbol I'm actually going to use a movie clip I find movie clips are a lot more powerful because they can have certain animations inside of them I would use a button if I was going to create some invisible buttons or hotspots but generally as practice I use movie clips nowadays and I'm going to call this circle underscore MC for movie clip. This name here has no relevance to any code that you're doing. This is just for my reference that it's underscore MC for when it appears in the library over here. And if I click OK now, there it is, my circle movie clip. And I'm going to go ahead and name layer one uh, circle. And that's just practice as well, just so I can, if, if my project becomes quite big, I can see what's going on and what's on what layer. Next I'm going to create an action script there called AS. Pretty much every project you use should have an AS level. And in here, um, you could press F9 to bring up the action script layer. I'm going to go to Window and bring up Actions because F9 pauses my recorder. So from here, we're going to start the script and write ourselves a uh, the first listener for the buttons. So what we're going to do is uh, give our actually first we need to click on the circle and give it an instance name so for the instance name I am going to call it circle and then let's go back to our timeline and that will be the name I pressed F9 see that that will be the name that um, will be case sensitive and used in our code so if you ever have any problems one of the first things you want to check is whether or not you've used a capital or a lowercase um, letter at the beginning or at some point in your instance name. So there we go, press F9 this time, try not to pause my uh, recording and here we go. So let's call it circle dot add, listen, add event listener so that's our event listener now and this is going to look out for, and there's many types of event listeners on this uh, and we're going to listen out for a mouse event dot and we're going to have a click event, so that's all capitals there, and click and here, after the comma, I'm going to type a function name and let's call this uh, pressed so this will trace, this will find out when we've pressed our button and this is the function that's going to call when we've pressed our button. Right, now what we have to do is write the function and this is very very similar to ActionScript uh, 2. The only difference is it's kind of, you, you have to declare what type of event it is the function going to be um, looking for and this is because if it comes out for error checking and um, in your compiler error window it's easier in large lumps of code for Flash to figure out what the errors are due to the way it's written, although it is a lot harder and um, to write generally, um, but it's worth it in the end. So if I type in uh, function, and let's call our function names, this is all similar to script 2, function pressed, and now what we have to do 
is we have to give a variable name uh, where we're going to store this event. Uh, this is EVT, I'm going to call it. Uh, and if I do do give it the uh, the code on there, um, what will happen is let me do that again so you can see. You come up with lots of different flash lengths it could look out for, and we are looking out for the mouse event. It should be around here. There we are, mouse event. So it's not too bad. This actually, this variable here can be anything you like. It will declare that and it can hold it there. So I could have pressed I, I could have pressed the, uh, you'll see people write event. Um, confusing when you first see it because you think, well, what do I write? But actually that can be anything to store it there. So mouse event. And this is, this little bit here, it says void. You don't actually need to include this. But this is if it carries data. 